You know, a lot of people have been telling me that they're pretty skeptical about the new Battlefield 5 because it has women in it, but I'm still pretty interested to see how the game is going to play. Is the gameplay going to be good? Are the maps going to be huge, detailed, exciting, all that good stuff? Is the campaign going to be interesting? Is the Battle Royale mode, how's that going to play out? All very interesting questions, so I really like to hear what the head creator of this game has to say about it. Let's check it out. So this is huge, like, this is probably crazier than the whole Battlefront 2 fiasco with all the loot boxes and microtransactions that were just crazy packed in that game. This is way bigger than that, and that's saying something because they've gone on record saying this game isn't going to have any loot boxes or premium pass or any of that stuff and free DLC, we promise. But then they pretty much decide to make a game however they see fit anyway. So basically, a lot of people have concerns about there being women in the game, and it doesn't really make sense because there really weren't that many women on the front lines during World War II. Not really. And it threw a lot of people off guard. I mean, when you have a game that's being marketed as a true, authentic, historically accurate World War II era shooter, it got people really excited, and then they saw the trailer. <laughs> Rightfully so, this left a lot of people confused, including myself. I mean, I'm all for having women in games. I really don't care. What I really don't understand, though, is having, like, this feminazi SJW red-haired face paint with prosthetic limb running around no-scoping dudes left and right. It made no sense whatsoever. So because this led people confused, of course, it got a shit ton of dislikes. And it's for good reason, really. I mean, when you think about it, the women deaths versus the men deaths from World War II, you can't even compare them, really. I mean, they're astronomically different. So because of that, people were really confused. They were questioning EA whether or not this was actually historically accurate. Is this really just a different representation? Is this like an alternate universe type of World War II game? However, they continuously claim that this is a truly authentic World War II experience which a lot of people are greatly disagreeing with and when they called the men on it well we have our wonderful uh mr patrick sollerland here at ea give us his take on it so let's see what he has to say on the woman in battlefield this is something that the development team pushed Battlefield 5 is a lot about the unseen, the untold, the unplayed. The common perception is that there are no women in World War II. No one thinks that, dude. Like, nobody. Anyway, continuing. There were a ton of women who f both fought in World War II and partook in the war. Uh, that's sort of true. You see, the thing is, a lot of people are actually confused as to what the roles of women are in World War II. So about 350,000 American women joined the military during World War II. They worked as nurses, they drove trucks, they repaired airplanes, and performed clerical work to free up men for combat. So nowhere in there does it mention that they went on the front lines wearing prosthetic arms with face paint going around shooting dudes effortlessly. I'm pretty sure that's not what really happened in World War II. But because it's EA, the shit that spews out of their mouths just keeps getting worse. We felt like in today's world, I have a 13 year old daughter that when the trailer came out and she saw all the flack, she asked me, Dad, why is this happening? She plays Fortnite and says, I can be a girl in Fortnite, why are people so upset about this? She then looked at me and she couldn't understand it. And I'm like, okay, as a parent, how the hell am I gonna respond to this? Uh, gee, I don't know, Sutherland, maybe you can, uh, there's this little thing, what's it called on top of my head, uh, oh yeah, it's called educate her and tell her what actually happened instead of just being like, you know what, 
I hear your complaints, so I'm just going to completely fuck up history and just do whatever the hell I want. I just said, you know what, you're right, this is not okay. Oh boy, and then we get to my probably favorite part in this entire article, and this is probably the number one reason why this guy was let go, but nonetheless, the damage is still done. So here's what he has to say to all the people that have a little bit concerns and are kind of confused about this whole debacle. These are people who are uneducated. They don't understand that this is a plausible scenario. And listen, this is a game. Today gaming is gender diverse like it hasn't been before. There are a lot of female people who want to play, and male players who want to play as badass women. We don't take any flack, we stand up for the cause because I think those people who don't understand it, well, you have two choices. Either accept it, or don't buy the game. I'm fine with either or, it's just not okay. You see, dude, when people have slight concerns about your game and they have constructive criticism about it and they call you out for it, you don't call them uneducated and say, well, if you don't like it, just, you can either get over it and accept it for what it is or just don't buy the game. I don't care. Of course, why would you care? Because you're basically one of the corporate executives who, even if you get fired, you basically get a golden parachute because you get a million dollar bonus, which as you did, so... It could be a number of reasons as to why this guy said this, but all honesty, I think he was just completely speaking his mind and not caring, and I don't even think he cares if the game flops, honestly. I don't even think he gives one crap about it because he was probably already in talks with the rest of the EA corporate people saying, we're going to have to let you go, and so he says, you know what, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say whatever the hell I want. Maybe that happened, I don't know. I'm trying to see some way to justify why the hell this guy would say this, but maybe I'm reaching. Look man, whenever people have criticisms or concerns, comments, whatever the case may be about your upcoming product, they have a right to. Because you're asking them for money, they have a right to criticize it and comment about it. You don't attack those people saying, oh y'all are just a bunch of sexist women haters who are just uneducated. Just accept it or don't buy the game. Like, I, I don't know if it's just me, but I don't think attacking your customers is really a good business model. That's just me though. And ultimately, that's why I think you guys should boycott this game. What I mean by boycott is essentially speak with your wallet just pretend this game doesn't even exist if you really really do want to play it that's totally fine i mean do whatever you want it's your money but i'm just saying this can set a really dangerous precedent if this game does really well which so far it doesn't look like that's going to happen but to really hit it hard where ea lives their money they need to realize that this stuff's not okay. You can't just change things because you feel like it. Again, yes, there were women in World War II, but their role was so limited that I wouldn't even consider them a main contributor on the front lines. More or less in the way that you portray them in your trailers and in your game, no less, where they have like these prosthetic limbs that are growing around no scoping dudes and saving all the men from being killed. It's just, it's, I mean, look at this. Look at that. Like, that's ridiculous. Like, no one in their right mind, like, it's common sense that this is completely not like World War II whatsoever. So here are some facts which EA chooses, for whatever reason, to ignore. The total military deaths by men in World War II in the United States alone, 416,000 men dead. The number of women in the United States casualties that died in combat in World War II 16. You, you you can't even compare the two. Yes, there are women in World War II. I have no problem with them being in the game whatsoever, but if you really want to make the game true to World War II, make it authentic and for it to really immerse the player, then you have to really make it accurate, otherwise people are going to call you out for it. And beyond that, you can't attack people that have concerns about your game. I mean, I understand trying to double down, defend the decisions you made your game, but you can't attack those people and think you're better than them because of it. Calling them uneducated and just telling them not to buy the game? Not the best business strategy, man. I don't care who you are, even if you didn't have concerns about this game, you should now because people like that 
that are defending this should not be allowed to get any of your money at all but hey not to worry we have plenty of people on the internet ready and willing to stand by us and fight back against this sjw nonsense so let's see who we have to back us up with this well oh awesome it looks we have our lord and savior angry joe let's see what he has to say about all this nonsense and they're not going to spend a goddamn dime of their $60 on, on, on women being in World War II because that insults their great-grandfather who fought in World War II. No women in World War II, in my fictional World War II. Ha 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 to EA. Victory for not my battlefield, hashtag MAGA, red hats. Victory for, against social justice warriors. Ugh. He went full SJW. Never go full SJW. Hashtag MAGA red wearing hats? What, what does that have to do with any of this, Joe? Like, there are people on both sides of the spectrum, liberal and conservative, that have concerns with this, and rightfully so. Because even people I know that disagree with other people politically, they all have concerns about this, greatly. Genuine concerns, and you should too. What is people possibly being a Trump supporter, conservative, whatever, have to do with this whole debacle anyway? It has nothing to do with it. I don't know if you're aware of this, but they're not just a bunch of women haters out there that just don't want women in their games. That's totally not the case. What people have issue with are these SJW political agendas being shoved down our throat, being pushed into all the stuff we love literally forced on our throats and everything i mean it, it's it's so blatantly obvious that they're trying to pander to these people and it makes no sense these people they're trying to pander to don't even buy their games they're not they're not gamers at all so it, it, i don't understand why they think let's pander to these people so they don't get upset that way we don't have to worry about you know being called sexist racist whatever the, whatever the isms and ists is now i have an idea for you, ea why don't you make a game that your customers want instead of trying to just be pc about everything because clearly as you can see that's not what people want in your game <laughs> shooting down a bunch of people with guns bombing people oh no problem at all but oh we can't offend those people out there that will be pissed off if we don't put a woman on the front lines with a prosthetic arm no scoping 360 no widen red hair feminazi sjw taking people out left and right seriously and that's the reason why so many people are disliking your video because you're basically defending this identity politic crap which no one wants and beyond just that you can't defend a company who outright calls anyone that has issues with their games uneducated and just to not buy the game how can you defend a company that does that i know you probably don't like ea like deep down you absolutely hate them like most of us do but you have to realize that these types of shady business practices that are being forced down our throats into the games you like is not okay. We need to get back to just games being fun and stop worrying about not trying to offend everybody. I mean, you want to know why Rockstar is doing too well? Because they don't cater to all these people. They just make fun games and they make the game itself solid so that lots of people want to continuously play them. I know it's kind of crazy to think that way, but that's kind of how you make a lot of money as a game company. So don't for one second think it's, oh, it's just a bunch of conservatives who love Trump and hate women because they're a bunch of sexists. They don't want women in anything. No, 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 Totally not the case. You have to take your political beliefs out of your head for one second and just understand that when you just start completely subverting history, doing whatever the hell you want with your game, putting in feminazi, SJW, redhead, prosthetic limb, 360 no scope, killing dudes left and right, people have the right to be pretty pissed off about it. People are also saying that this game really is lagging way behind in terms of Call of Duty Black Ops 4 sales. In fact, there are actually some statistics released that show that the pre-order sales for Black Ops 4 are 85%. 
behind Black Ops 4. That is huge. And that's saying something because for me personally, Black Ops 4 doesn't look that good. I don't really like the fact that they're doing away with the campaign altogether because I actually do enjoy the Black Ops campaigns. I thought the ones in the Black Ops 1 through 3 were really fun, especially Black Ops 2. Now they're getting rid of it and it's not continuing with the story and then just forcing in a Battle Royale mode. I don't really understand why, but I digress. I mean, it could be partially because the game comes out right after Black Ops 4 and right before Red Dead Redemption 2, but if you think about it, that really shouldn't affect the sales for Battlefield 5, mainly because Red Dead 2 is a vastly different game than Battlefield 5, so I don't think that every gamer out there absolutely needs to buy both. So that's why, really, I don't think that every single person is going to be getting every single game that entire month. So I don't really think that that's why Battlefield 5 sales are going to be affected just because games come out before and after it very, very shortly. And that happens all the time. And if a game looks fun, people are going to buy it a lot. So it doesn't really matter how close it comes to other games releasing. Yes, it could be a small factor of it, but it's minuscule compared to the actual complaints people will have with this game. Another reason why this game is failing as well is the marketing. I mean, all the trailers and gameplay stuff they've shown us, it's very little and it's really not that good. I mean, did you guys see that E3 presentation they had? during the EA press conference of Battlefield 5, it looked terrible. They just showcased some of the physics engines behind, you know, you can run a tank through a building and the building collapses, or we're not gonna have any loot boxes or premium pass, and that was really the highlight of the entire conference, and just, just like, ugh, facepalm. So yeah, there's a lot of factors as to why the game's not doing too well, but it's mainly because, again, people don't want this SJW crap shoved down our throats and forced into all our games only way to do that really is to boycott this game to really show EA that we have the power they do not. And they also don't like it when the people creating the game are attacking the fans that are actually buying their game. So not the best business strategy first doing whatever the hell you want with the game and then attacking anybody who disagrees with you calling them uneducated. Not not the smartest way. So if when you do those things, then people have a right to be pissed, not purchase the game, and that is why I think the game is failing. So let me know what you guys think. Please leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below with your thoughts. And again, I really think that we should show EA that we're not messing around and hitting them where it hurts their money by not supporting them financially. So EA, for the last time, listen. Just released Bad Company 3 already.